in lieu of that uh, Nancy Pelosi bitch slapping Andrea Mitchell. Also, my shirt is blue because I'm feeling blue wavy. I'm feeling blue wavy. Oh my God, Val Demings on fire, on fire last night. Rip Marco Rubio, a new one. Are we, do we still have spinning balls or do we? Yeah. Has the, has the magic begun yet? I don't know. Okay. I don't know what's going on. All right. Also hilarious that she uh, posted a picture of her with her badge saying, this is a real one. That's True. Fun. That's fine. She was chief of police. Oh my God, she was so great. Did you watch it? Holy cow. I didn't watch it live, but I saw clips of it all over this oh, morning. Yes. Unbelievable. It was on too late for me. I, I know, Grampy. <laughs> I know, Grampy. What are you going to do Saturday as the big sexy liberal? You're going to have to save democracy. You're going to be up really late. I'm up really late for all of the sexy liberals. Yeah, but those are on the East Coast. Yes. And those are like, so it's like normal time for you. Yeah. Sexyliberal.com. For the tickets for the big, right? Mm -hmm. Glenn Kirshner, Rob, uh, Rob Reiner. Cast of thousands. Speaking of which, it's Man Meat Wednesday. We have Bob Seska. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Carlos L. Rocky. And we have Michael Cohen. Says who? Says me. He's Michael the, Cohen. He's the meat in our man meat sandwich. <laughs> our good friend, Michael Cohen. Says who? Yeah, me. I just said it. Me. Stephanie Miller. All right. We're done with that game. All right. Are you? Are we furiously to, still I, trying I, to find... I'm having to reboot my computer. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Okay. All right. I was playing stuff from it earlier this morning. I don't oh, know. yeah. Okay. All right. No Pelosi for me? No Val Demings? Yet? Nothing. Nothing. Yet. Right now, this right, is what I, this right now. Oh, nothing. a yes. spinning beach ball is I'm, what I get. I'm restarting my. Okay. That's yeah. fantastic. Okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I just, uh, my top two tweets this morning. I, I, my best friend of 40 years is here, Dr. Mm -hmm. Juggs, as Robert calls her. Yes. She has large breasts. Yes, she does. She's a very uh, brilliant psychologist, but she does look like a porn psychologist. Like, she might not really be one. She might take her glasses off and then, you know. Like in the Goody Two-Shoes video? <laughs> yes. Anyway, she's been living in Australia, and she just got over here. And I don't, you don't have to be from somewhere else to just go, what the actual is going on? We, I've come back to Handmaid's Tale, right? It, yeah. It is, uh, okay. Dana says, so the Republican plan is to raise eligibility for Social Security and Medicare at age 75, and you can't have any other income to qualify for Social Security and Medicare ends at age 90. I hope seniors are paying attention. Yeah, not sure what the plan would have been for my mom, who's 99. Just cat food for the last however long you live. I Do people get it? Kevin McCarthy came out and said it. Yeah. That they're going to try to blow up the debt ceiling to cut Medicare and Social Security. How is anyone voting for this party? Right? They're going to threaten global catastrophe to cut your Medicare and Social Security. I, they said it out loud. I, I, they've okay. been saying it for okay. years. But not the whole blow up the debt ceiling card. That's new. Well, that's new. Global that's... financial catastrophe. This is not the first time they've threatened to do that, though. Remember they? Is that their tagline? Republicans mm -hmm. 2022. Yeah. Global financial catastrophe. Let's cause it. Plus no Social Security and Medicare. Notice there haven't been any threats of that since the Democrats have been. Yeah. Also, Handmaid's In tale. charge. Okay. Yeah. Oh, how about this in uh, Texas? Uh, Angry Bunny tweets, let's talk about DNA identification kits given to parents instead of stricter gun legislation in Texas because they don't have to keep your kids safe. They just need to be able to identify them when they get shot in the third grade. I, seriously, have you seen these? To, I have okay. not seen them. To identify your dead oh, kid. You. Nothing to keep your kids, you know, for instance, alive. Okay. Oh, is this? Okay. I have you. Val Demings. Yeah, my G-spot has remained lonely. <laughs> Sad. We're like four minutes in. Okay, give it to me. Give it to me. Here she is. Really disappointed in you, Marco Rubio, because I don't. I think there was a time when you did not lie in order to win. I don't know what happened to you. You know that is not true. My first term in this in the United States House, I passed legislation to help law enforcement officers with mental health programs. Your first term in the Senate. You voted to turn Medicare into, basically to abolish it, and then turn it into an yeah. underfunded voucher program. And then you gave the biggest tax break to the richest of the rich and said you'd pay for it with cuts to Social Security and Medicare. Yeah. Yeah. Sploosh. What was that? That, that made you sploosh. Oh, thank you. That was me. Yeah, that was you. What in the basement? <laughs> And we're not talking about I the mean, pipe burst outside. I mean, child, she went with... Disappointed! <laughs> she I'm went, very disappointed. She went all mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, not, not since Marcus Flowers said to Marjorie Taylor Greene, bless your heart, I pray for oh, you. Bless your heart. <laughs> she used the disappointed in the way that Tom Cruise's mom in Risky Business... I'm, yes. I'm disappointed! Very yeah. disappointed in you. Marco, what have you done to the Fabergé egg of Florida? <laughs> 
Anyway, oh my God, I don't know if we have the abortion stuff yet, but she just have it. knocked it. She just knocked it out of the park. Mm-hmm. This is what do we keep saying, Christopher? Alpha liberals. Christopher, when did you start using? Because your I name? am. Is it pointed? Okay. No, I'm not. God. I just thought I'd try something like I'm different. I'm just trying something different to get your attention. Chris, what? like, who are you talking to? <laughs> you haven't listened to me for like 25 years. I figure if I use something different, you'll be like, what? What? Yeah. Hmm? I'm in trouble. See? See? What? You're paying attention now. Is, is there a Christopher in the studio? It's, it's the nice first thing you've heard me say. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't made eye contact in 30 years. I know. This is the first time. Not since you sat me down. Christopher? Okay. Not since oh. you sat me down and said, so, are you gay? <laughs> You are making that up. No, I am not. That was in, that was in your office or Faith's office. No, you uh, no. just told me. No. And I was like, whatever. Do we have that durable sound effect? That was how it went down. <laughs> no. It, it is in, totally how it went it down. Was I was like, was you in, said I'm gay. I'm like, okay, no, I, I, I don't care. Do you have that cantaloupe sound no. effect that we're using I, for a gerbil beheading? <laughs> I, no, it was in Faith's office at KBC. <laughs> it was be- no, I did not. It, yes, okay. it was before. You know what, Travis? We're going to take this off air. Let's take this family fight I, off air. I, 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 Listen, I, I, we've had much. enough embarrassing family discussions that we're not supposed to be on air. Are your sisters calling in again today? No. One can only hope. God, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Talk to her later. I'm like, what's wrong with you two? She's like, oops. I, I thought you talked about everything. <laughs> they were like, and they were like, not that. Oh, Steffi. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Steffi. <laughs> and now Chris was some totally made up story about me up. outing him oh my god so made up you think I'm too old I won't remember <laughs> I remember being completely nonchalant when you told me I was like whatever no are you losing your memory at 41 you know yes. me I was just <laughs> concerned about him being a sound effect that I needed I was like I don't whatever <laughs> I can remember up. how long remember it was that uh, ferret that got executed that was it yeah yeah dead ferret, dead walking. ferret walking yeah uh-huh because the ferret bit somebody, and so it took us, I don't know, Travis, I'm going to say had, an hour or two uh, to find something that sounded like a ferret's head ferret being, being chopped being, off. Right. Beh- no, beheaded. I understand. I've heard yeah. that, that part of the story, but yeah. I don't understand why you're asking him. He comes out as gay, and you ask him about gerbils. Yeah. I that did not. It was not connected. Point, it Richard happened Deere. to be, Thanks. and it was not a gerbil. It was a ferret. <laughs> you were stereotyping me. I was not. It, was not it happened Deere. to be a rodent-related story in the news. <laughs> Nothing to do with Chris's sex life, which I didn't even know existed at the time. You were just some... But you assumed it involved God, gerbils? You looked 12. I assumed that you weren't going to have sex for like 20 more years. I didn't know. You know I made out with Randy at one point, right? <gasps> oh, my God. With, sh- with all these names. Why are we outing real names? I don't know who Randy is. Well, well Randy wouldn't remember. A, yeah. Let's, tell, let's just reason. say that right there's now. There's a reason why. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh. What? Oh, did my sister start this? Both of you <laughs> shut up. Preemptively shut up. And you, you're already too blabby. <laughs> Staring at Travis, who hasn't done anything wrong. <laughs> right. Where's, no. where's, where is, but, where but is Fanny Sipka? Now. Is Fanny Sipka upstairs? Right no, now? we're not calling my girlfriend Fanny Sipka. You should be happy I'm calling her Fanny Sipka instead it's of her real name. The work week. She's not upstairs. It's an entirely different rack that belongs to my best friend, Dr. Juggs. Is, Here was my political is point. Is Fanny going to be at Sexy Liberal this weekend? Yes. Okay, then. We'll look for her. Okay. I'm going to yell Fanny Sipka when I see her. Don't. <laughs> to her face. I hate everyone in my real life. If you want to be Fanny Sipka, get your tickets to uh, LA Sexy Liberal now. Sexyliberal.com. If you want to be my girlfriend, who's from Canada? <laughs> you wouldn't know you her. You wouldn't know her. <laughs> her name is George Glass. <laughs> Georgina. Okay. Uh, oh, this just in. Steel dossier source acquitted in another loss for a special counsel reviewing FBI's probe into the Trump campaign in Russia. Wah, wah. wah, wah. The oranges, oranges, oranges. Oh, that's so surprising that the, all the John Durham stuff has blown up because it's complete bolt mm-hmm. right. And oh, by the way, spoiler alert, Trump and company colluded with Russia to get illegally installed. Oh my God, don't just read the Mueller report. Read the Republican-led Senate Intelligence report. Oh my God, nothing. He's his lead prosecutor, Yukon Cornelius. That's... What do you got after all that taxpayer money? How many years? What you got? What you got? Here's Anything? the problem. Nothing. Nothing. Huh. Nothing. Got nothing. Okay. Here's why I'm wearing a blue shirt, and it's um, in honor of Val Demings today. Because uh, Pommel Report says, for all the media hype this week about the one new poll showing Republicans ahead in the generic midterm ballot, there are multiple other new polls this week showing the Democrats ahead in the generic uh, midterm ballot. Why is the media ignoring these polls? What do we keep saying? Keep your head down. Vote. 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 Get everybody you know to vote. Just keep your head down. I don't. I feel like I don't. There's a one New York Times poll that looks like an outlier, but it... it 
it's all going to be close. We just need you need to turn out like every race is competitive. We need to keep everyone engaged. Yes. That's what it comes mm-hmm. down to. Stay engaged and get everyone you know to vote. Right, because you know that's going to be the mainstream media. It, it always is. Democrats in disarray. Mm-hmm. Democrats in trouble again. Remember when it was huge red wave was the story. The fact that Democrats are doing as well as they are in all these polls, they just then they dismiss it and then go, ah ha! Look at this one. Shows Republicans have blah, pulled ahead. Um, yeah. Here is Nancy Pelosi, alpha liberal, Slim Jim muncher, Donald Trump puncher. Andrea Mitchell. Bitch slapping Andrea Mitchell Ooh. into the middle of the next election cycle. Thank you, God. Okay, let's just start. Uh, this five. is five, mm-hmm. right. I mean, why didn't the president really push for that last fall when outrage over Codified. the draft opinion showed the handwriting was on the wall? Well, the president has been a very strong supporter uh, of a woman's right to choose. In your preview, you said, why is he waiting until after the election instead of doing it now? We don't have 60 votes in the Senate. If we could get two more... You don't think he could have pushed harder on oh, the Senate? God, you think great. we would have gotten 60, uh, 10 Republican votes? You think we would have gotten 10 Republican votes? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Also, I don't mean to... Okay. This is not an age thing about Andrea Mitchell. Does she not just seem stumbly and nervous and I just and that it's just Republican talking points? It just every time it's phrased from the point of view of it shouldn't Biden have done X. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm more concerned about the fact that she's like, we've known about this since last fall. No, Andrea, we've known about this since the beginning of yes. summer when we saw that draft ruling. So you made it sound like Biden sat right. on this for a year and didn't do just, Jack, Andrea. Right. right. So but I love you know, how she just, oh, down. come on. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah, true. Yeah. Well, what if Biden had pushed hard? We didn't have the votes. We did yeah. not have the votes. The Italian this grandmother is... and Nancy Pelosi Thank came you. out. Oh, she, come on. Don't you wish she just took a Slim Jim out and just, <laughs> while she was talking. I'll Andrea. snap you just like this I'll Slim you like Jim. A, Nan- this twig. Andrew Mitchell, I could take you. I can look at me eat this. I can eat your, your <laughs> arm. I can this, this is how you arm. eat up Republican right. talking points. Nancy Pelosi. Thank you. She, she snaps into a Slim Jim and turns into Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> or She-Hulk. I don't know. It's my new favorite because well, we're watching. See, it. Kind of. Macho Man did commercials for, for Slim Jim. Into a Slim I don't Jim. know. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. And where he said, right. snap into a Slim Jim. Okay. So Give she me... turned into a dead guy? Anyway, this is the president's point yesterday. Get me the votes. We will codify Roe, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Nancy Pelosi has to be. With all due respect, okay. the fact uh-huh. is we need to get two more Democratic votes to push back this uh, the filibuster and therefore be able, to, with 51 votes, uh, to enshrine... Roe v. Wade into the law, and that will be on the 50th and around the time of the 50th anniversary of of Roe v. Wade de- a Supreme Court decision. Yes, thank you. By the way, uh, Mike Chuckley, sad Santa, Mike Pence mm-hmm. was out there. <laughs> they're telling you exactly what they're going to do. He's like, "Oh no, we're going to win, and then it's going to be the law of the land in every state." <laughs> you will become baby. Factories, Women will baby. learn to keep their legs shut. You believe me? <clears throat> Okay, That's, no I'm just one. saying it's a very stark choice in I can't three weeks. Imagine Santa saying that. Oh, Santa th- is thinking that. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay. Chuck was sad, Santa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and one more, Nancy Pelosi. On the day of the riot, you said that if he led the rioters and came up to the hill, you would have punched him out. Clutch the pearls. Right. Uh, I don't even like to talk about him because it's really a tragedy for you, our country. But you did say you would have punched him out. I would have punched Tell him, him out. Your I anger. said I would have punched him out. I would have gone to jail, and I would have been happy to do so would you have done for it? our country but, but he wouldn't have had the courage to come to the hill he's all exactly. talk thank you by the way Andrew Mitchell with the right clutch the pearls oh. did you really say I mean isn't it oh my god oh, gasp wasn't that inciting Jeez. violence I'm like really Donald Trump incited violence that killed a bunch of people at the Capitol really because in frustration Nancy Pol- oh my god really oh. another time Didn't you